Well, 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 in my most efficient, maleficent voice. Was I not invited to the party? Hmm. So, Chanel, you have opened VIP boutiques, and oh, so many of us maleficents were not invited to the party. Well, that doesn't matter. We do see all the gentry entering by invitation only. But we too shall bestow a gift upon you. VIP stores. What that gift is, well, let's find out together, shall we? Let's prepare ourselves for the gifting that keeps on gifting. Welcome to the revelation of the Chanel VIP stores, darling. Yes, we've spoken about it in the past. Over a year ago, it was announced kind of sneakily by Chanel that they would start opening VIP boutiques just for invited special, special VVIP clients. You can't just enter a VIP Chanel store. No, the whole concept of it is if you are worthy enough, Chanel will invite you and then you will be allowed access inside of these magical stores. Are they that magical though? Well, listen. So now images are starting to leak. We're starting to notice how these places look like and what the concepts are. But before we get to it, subscribe to my channel, push the join button next to the subscription button, become a member today and gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon, Super Day Cabal spelled together. Thank you to my members and patrons who have already pledged. This video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream several times a week and you're all welcome to join the live chats. Hi chat on the sidebar. I am wearing these swim pedals from Chanel Vintage. They're supposed to be worn the other way around, like this. But I wear them like this because then I can wear them to parties and use them as gloves while I sip my cocktail. Get your Super Deco merch at www.superdacob.com now, like this glass. And follow me on Instagram, Super Dacob Backup, as well as Dacob CC, all spelled together. Dacob CC is my Chanel fan account. Mm. Now, images have leaked from uh, one of the first VIP Chanel stores that opened up in China. Yeah, best believe, in China. So now, y'all. As reported by WWD Magazine, and for some reason I also have Y Sports here, Yahoo Sports, LOL, Yahoo Sports with WWD, uh, as they report in Shanghai, Chanel is set to launch two, two VIP salons, they call them salons, or Chanel Les Salons Privés, the Privé Salons, in Guangzhou and Shenzhen. Hope I did not butcher the name of those two cities. I'm sorry, my Chinese friends. Two key luxury retail markets in southern China. The invite only, 3,200 square foot Guangzhou Salon, located on the second floor of Taiku Hui Guanzu features a discreetly designed black and white entrance and contains four private fitting rooms and a public lounge area, according to store details revealed by industry insiders. <gasps> Somebody leaked the images. According to local media reports, the Shenzhen Mixi Salon, connected to the French luxury house's first retail outpost in the city, will span more than 4,300 square feet and takes over a spot previously occupied by Brooks Brothers. So Chanel did not build something new. They were like, you know what, Brooks Brothers. Brooks Brothers. Really, Chanel? You're occupying something that Brooks Brothers occupied before you? You call that luxury? 
Okay, girl. Okay. Uh, according to local media reports, the renovation of the little black room, oh, they called it the little bra black room, might have cost the brand an estimated $6 million. A revamped Shangdu IFS store and an in-store VIP salon are also set to open in October, according to images of the storefront hoarding shared on Xiao Hongshu. The trio of exclusive boutiques adds to Chanel's roster of exclusive retail outposts in the region. Blah, blah, blah. Is there more? Yes. Chanel's effort to woo big spenders or nurtured local clienteles. And this is what Philippe Blondiot, Chanel's group chief financial officer, puts it and says, helped the brand boost 2022 revenues in the Asia-Pacific region by 14.3% to $8.65 million, with double-digit gains in the mainland China market. Now, we'll go, we'll go. Let's see how this place looks like. Let me shift to the side. Q in Exhibit A, storefront of this luxury salon. Um, cha. <laughs> now, is that a party that I want to go to? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, as we say often in the bunker, it's giving me literally nothing. Now, I mean, it looks a little bit like one of the Les Exclusives perfume uh, boxes, which I'm looking if I have one right here to show you, hanging around, laying around. No, they're all packed away. Um, MMM says, um, it's giving dupe, right? I mean, like, I guess they're trying to be low key. Like, if you know, you know, IYKYK, like we're keeping it very low key. You know, nobody knows, nobody knows. Um, Gloria's like, it's not done right? Yeah, it does look like packaging. Yeah, like a perfume bottle. Less is more, says Blue Marine. And giving middle school football courts, says Jizza. Cecilia says, looks like school something. Whoa, Jacob, you got all the infos. Natalia, my dear. We always do. Well, as as uh, Beyonce would say, Coco Canal. This is giving Chanel. It's not giving Chanel. But hey, to each their own. I'm sure brand marketing did a great job at making their clients that have a lot of money in China feel really guilty for not spending enough. You know how they guilt you into spending more? How they allegedly, huh? Everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only. Just my opinion. Not rooted in any truths or facts. Everything's just alleged. So allegedly... Brand marketing does these things where, you know, they feed upon uh, those clients, the nouveau riche, the people who have the money but really don't have the self-esteem yet. So, yeah, I can see how a bully could tell you, oh, you really want to show everybody that you have money? Well, then you need to spend more because we're not going to invite you to the uh, privé salon if you don't spend another 200000 but we are sure you can afford it, can't you? And then the client says, well, yeah, of course I can. Of course I can. I want to be invited to the salon. Here's the money. Hmm. And so it begins. It begins on multiple levels. On one level, this. But on another level, their regular boutiques become second-class citizen boutiques in which you still have to spend $10,000 for a bag, timeless classic jumbo, $10,000 plus, second price increase allegedly coming in September of 2023, second price increase of the year, but we digress. And this is for the ones who have spent enough. But let's enter the store, because, you know, whatever. Does it look amazing and special on the inside? What do you guys think in the chat? And in the comment section down below, does it look fantabulous on the inside, like something we've never seen from Chanel before? Hmm. One doth wonder. And with my Maleficent voice, 
Well, well, well. Given that Angelina Jolie is now entering fashion too, you know, we've heard that story. But anyway, we digress. Let's see what the gentry is up to on the inside. Reveal yourself. We'll go, we'll go. You know, I mean, it's literally... <laughs> It's a moment. <laughs> Krabby's like, girl, bye. Girl, bye. <laughs> I know, I'm telling you. It's like, cha. So, um, yeah. They got the book that we all have. The book that you can order anywhere on Amazon. The couch is, you know, look at the wrinkles. This is not very luxurious. If you're going to do privé salon, don't do those wrinkles, girl. Uh, oh, there's stuff missing from the hangers. Some hangers. Really? This is this is what I spent extra money for to be invited to exclusively. Really? Private salon. You know, four of these private salons. So it's like all for you. Just sit down. They bring stuff for you to try on. Things are available. And it's giving grandma's living room. Create and Beryl says beauty and insanity. Fred says Kardashian closet. Lucky dog says um cha. Anyways, so, but listen, here's here's the twist, the plot twist. Um, the article says Chanel is not the only brand adopting a VIP first retail strategy in China. Luxury power brands such as Dior and Louis Vuitton have been revamping their existing flagships, flagships to include expansive VIP areas where high spenders can browse exclusive offerings while sipping champagne. Now, if I'm not wrong, and correct me if I'm wrong, but up until now, us regular folk who would purchase Louis Vuitton or Chanel in their boutiques would also get offered champagne. So are they trying to tell us that now this is the extra that you get when you get invited to the VIP space? Then you get champagne, but you don't get it anymore when you enter a regular Chanel boutique, a regular Louis Vuitton shop. So that's the extra perk. It's like literally they're trying to make this distinction between like when you fly in an airplane, you know, between like business uh, economy and first class. And I've said this in other videos, you guys, no matter which, no matter which uh, class you fly, you're still going to land at the same time as the Minion that was dumb enough to purchase first class and pay like $20,000 more than you. You're still going to lift off at the same time and you're going to land at the same time. Oh, they're going to get their food served in porcelain plates and they can stretch their legs more than you? I see. Was that worth $20,000? You're an idiot if you think it was. Because let me tell you one thing, honey boo boo cha. The only true luxury in this world is time. Time. Because once your time is up, you're going to kick the bucket. So how is it possible that you spend $20,000 more than me because you flew first class, and yet you did not save any time because me flying in coach for $500, lift off and landing at the same time as you. Only I spent way less money for the same time as you. You were the idiot who spent $20,000 at the same time as me. I have a sneaky suspicion this is just another scam to make you spend more money but have less time. Hmm. Robert says, no, Jacob, you see the VIP champagne is $5 more expensive to buy. Oh, right. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Robert. It's the $5 more expensive champagne. I knew there was a catch. I knew there was a catch definitely worth dropping hundreds of thousands of dollars every year to be allowed access into the VIP area in order to get a champagne that was $5 more expensive. Yeah, makes total sense. 
Yeah, <laughs> silly me. How could I have not figured that out on my own? Silly me. Silly me. So yeah, no Polly, no Moe. No, no, no. Chanel is not going to serve you LVMH champagne. No, they're enemies. Chanel serves you uh, Roderer champagne, not uh, LVMH champagne. Vitor says, maybe it's an even more personalized service. Yes, the sales associates put on gloves while they massage you with the so-called happy ending. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, thumb it up. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And until next time, never forget to never give up on luxurious love. Bye.